would that wound be consistent or inconsistent with being inflicted by the trigger guard of a gun? It would be inconsistent with the trigger guard of a gun. Uh, again, being familiar with, with guns, um, our trigger guards are very smooth um, and will not cause an injury like what we see here. I'm going to show you what's... Are you familiar with what a bow saw is? Yes, I am. I'm going to show you what's been marked as People's 39A. Um, do you see that tool in on the floorboard, the back of that vehicle next to the tennis racket? I do. All right. Is that a bow saw? Yes, it is. I'm going to... That picture has a blade cover on the bow saw. I'm going to show you 39B. Okay, do you see the blade on this bow saw? Yes, I do. Would the wound on uh, People's 38 be consistent with being inflicted post-mortem by that bow saw, assuming someone was using that bow saw to cut up this body, or a bow saw like that? Yes. Let me ask you about a... Actually... I have a pack of two photographs. May I mark these as people's uh, 40, Your Honor? 40, two photographs, A and B? Sure. So I'm going to show you people's 40A. Now, um, Is this a close enough picture of those hands to really see any injuries to the hands, or you'd probably like a closer picture, right? I'm sorry, what was the question? You probably, that's not a tight enough picture to see injuries to those hands, if there are any, right? Correct. Okay. I'm going to show you people's 40B. Okay. If you look on the thumb there, it looks like something healing there on the right uh, Thumb, thumb of the right hand. You see that? Yes. Okay. What, if anything, can you say about that, that mark there? It's a healing injury. That's about the extent of what I can say. Okay. Can you tell from that whether it's a, a blister versus a scrape versus something else? I can't, unfortunately. It's healing to the point where I, I wouldn't be able to make any determination. All right. So then, could that be consistent with a, a myriad of different um, types of mechanisms that cause that injury? Absolutely. What types of th things that you could imagine could cause that type of injury? Just to give Again, any example. kind of abrasion, any scraping of the skin uh, can result in the injury that we see here. Perhaps a blister uh, could cause the injury that we see here. Okay. Could it be caused by doing yard work? Surely. Could it be caught by rubbing your hand the wrong way on a car door? Possibly. Could it be caused by hundreds of scenarios that you could probably come up with in daily life? Exactly, yes. Could it be caused by a struggle over a gun? Sure. Okay. Could it be caused by doing a manual labor with a tool that you grip um, that causes friction on your right thumb? Sure. In your profession, do you have cause on occasion to dismember bodies, limbs off of bodies, in part of your training or part of your occupation? Yes, unfortunately. In those cases in which we can't identify an individual, we would have to remove the femur and send that to the Department of Justice. So we actually would have to take a large portion of that bone for identification purposes. Okay. And have you had experience in dismembering a head, arms, legs? No, fortunately. Okay, but based on your background training experience, um, I take it you've sawed through bone before? Absolutely. And I take it you've cut through joints before? Yes. Um, based on your background training experience, do you know how difficult it is or easy it is to dismember a human torso? Yes, I do know, unfortunately, given the work that I do. Can you describe for the jury what type of labor is involved in that? Again, it depends on, on 
in this particular case that we that we see, there was actually sawing of the bones, the large bones of the of the extremities. That's going to take a considerable amount of effort. Bone being very hard, it's not like sawing through a branch. It takes some effort to do that. Uh, it's going to take a bit of time to actually dismember a human being. So if you take a bow saw and cut through like a branch on a, a, a tree, are you saying it's a bone is more difficult to saw through? Absolutely. It's much denser and harder. How much effort would it take to saw through a human leg, straight through the bone, a with a of, bow saw? A bit of effort. We say bit of effort. What do you mean by that? It's hard to quantify exactly. It's going to be tougher than, than sawing through a branch, obviously. A, a branch, even though it sounds really hard, is much softer than a human bone. You being a, a forensic pathologist, let's assume you use the use power tools in the lab? We have a special tool, a reciprocating saw, that's called a striker saw, it's a name brand, and it's designed to saw through human bones. And uh, assuming you use your own tools in your lab, how long would it take you to completely dismember a body, head, arms, legs? Even with that special tool, it would probably take upwards of an hour to completely dismember the individual as we see in front of us. Let's assume that you don't have that special tool. You're using whatever's available in your home. You're using bow saws. You're using kitchen knives. You're using, maybe as someone may have described, giant axe. How difficult would it be to dismember a human body? Much more difficult. I assume then it would take much more time than an hour. More likely than not, that is correct. I assume it would take a lot of physical exertion. Absolutely. I, take, I, I assume if you're using a bow saw to cut through a human leg, you're going to be going back and forth, back and forth, many, many, many times with that instrument on that leg. One would assume that is correct. And again on the next leg. Correct. And again on both arms. Correct. And again on the head. Correct. And each time that happens, you're going to be causing friction on the parts of your body that are gripping that instrument to saw through the bone. It's right? a possibility, sure. Okay. In, in your experience, would that cause blisters? It could. And would that be consistent with this injury you saw on people's 4DB? That is a possibility. Thank you. I have no further questions.